true seekers welcome back Zach here in this video I want to talk about the 1977 film Black Sunday about the terrorist organization Black September attacking the Super Bowl if you've never heard of Black September before they're the old Islamic boogeyman created by Zionist Israel supposedly at the Munich games in 1972 the Islamic terrorist organization Black September attacked the Israeli national team. In truth, who Black September was, was Mossad, Israel's CIA. Just like how Al-Qaeda was Israel's Mossad. Just like how ISIS is Israel's Mossad. For decades, the Zionist Jews have controlled world media, world government, film studios such as Hollywood, and they have been building this narrative of there's an Islamic boogeyman out there that needs to be dealt with. On September 11th, 2001, that narrative, it went into hyperdrive. And if you know who's responsible for September 11th, it's that same gang, the Zionist Jews. The Zionist Jews are the main architects of September 11th, 2001. It's why the Israelis were in New Jersey filming and documenting the attack, as they said they were there to do. Israel had foreknowledge. The real terrorists of this world are the Zionist Jews. It is undeniable. It's why Israel has the most Geneva Convention violations. It is a militaristic, warmonger state that is built on propaganda, that runs on propaganda, and that propaganda is given to us through movies, through news, and more. So real quick, let's go back to 1977, watch a little bit of the trailer for this film. I want you to notice the two teams in the Super Bowl. There are two teams that have a possibility of meeting in Super Bowl 51, and in a moment we'll talk about what Black September has to do with 51 and the parallels between this film and the upcoming Super Bowl. Check this out, Truth Seeker. It'd be 100 feet off the ground, right over the 50-yard line. Now look at this. That means 222,000 darts in the kill zone for 80,000 people. The National Football League welcomes you to Miami's Orange Bowl in the championship of professional football. What exactly is this Super Bowl? Are you out of your mind? Pat Summerall with Tom Brookshire. Tom, you can feel the pressure building up all week. So here we go. Super Bowl is underway. My God, here it comes. Call it a stadium, call it a stadium. Signal red alert. Get the president out of the stadium. you might have noticed the first shot you saw the Steelers they had the player number 44 on the back the divisors of the number 44 if you take all the numbers that divide into 44 they sum to 84 special number to this nation United States of America equals 84 the Steelers are in their 84th season earlier this football season I predicted Antonio Brown number 84 would have a big game 84 days after his birthday I talked about how if he caught two touchdowns, he'd have 42 for his career. In the first quarter, he caught two touchdowns for 42, 
total receiving yards to get his 42nd touchdown of his career. Touchdown in Jamatri equals 42. Remember, pro football is scripted no different than a movie. When people go to the theater, they expect an act, a performance, a play. When they go to a sports game, they expect an honest competition, but what most sports fans don't realize is they're watching scripted theater. No different than a a play, a performance. Not much different than a movie. That's why so many football players go into acting and media afterwards. So anyhow, this film came out March 11th, 1977. I love that the film is two hours and 23 minutes long. That's the number of the Freemasons and Zionist Jews who run Hollywood, Masonic 223, the Synagogue of Satan, the name for the false Jews, 223, Freemasonry, Zionism attached at the hip. This film, it came out on March 11th, 1977, a date that's written 11 slash 3 in most parts of the world. Black Sunday in Gematria equals 113, kind of like 11 slash 3, the date of release. Remember, mainstream equals 113. Dishonest equals 113. Bava Kamal 113A says it's okay for somebody who's Jewish to lie to somebody who isn't. Black Sunday also has Gematria of 32, like NFL, like America. The NFL calls itself America's Game. The United States of America established on a date with 32 numerology. If you take into account the S exception, Black Sunday sums to 41. If you take into account the S and K exceptions, Black Sunday sums to 50. America equals 50, like the 50 states. This is a film about the... Super Bowl being attacked. Super Bowl in Gematria sums to 41, 50, and 131. A reshuffling of 113. USA, use the 21st letter in numerology. 2 plus 1 becomes 3. S is the 19th. 1 plus 9 is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. A is 1. USA breaks down to 3, 1, 1. The reflection of 113. If you write out 32, it sums to 50, just like America. Isn't it interesting how America equals 32 and 50 and how these numbers connect to each other? So here's the release of the film, March 11th, 1977. The director, John Frankenheimer. Show you what's so interesting about his name. They say the film film grossed $15.8 million. I wonder, when you write out 32, it sums to 158. Black Sunday equals 32. Oftentimes, the dollar figures for these films are made up. If you've never seen this film, I encourage you to watch it, though. It's really well done. It's really well acted. There was a lot put into this film, and many people don't know about it. This was a high-budget film at the time. And I've been wondering for years if they made this film as predictive programming for a planned terror hoax at a Super Bowl. Talk about a way to piss off America. You want to start the Third World War, you know, just attack the Super Bowl. Have a staged attack there. Nothing would surprise me at this day and age. That said, I'm not saying there's going to be a terror attack at Super Bowl 51. And even if they have it planned, have no fear because these people rely on hoax more than they do actually hurting people. So the name of the man who directed the film, John Frankenheimer, has gematria of 93, like propaganda, like Saturn, Saturn the keeper of time. The Jewish Zionists worship the number 93. Everything about Zionist Israel is 93. The country was drawn up on September 3rd. Everything about its history is coded 93. Just recently, we saw the death of the former president at age 93. They had his funeral on September 30th, 9 slash 30. The world leaders met in Israel on September 29th, the day that leaves 93 days left in the year. 93, the name Spielberg equals 93. 93, he had his biggest propaganda flick come out that year, Schindler's List, about the hollow hoax. 
In case you don't know, the Holocaust never happened. The Holocaust is a complete fiction made up by the Zionist Jews as part of the ongoing lies to build their Zionist state. There is no evidence that the Holocaust happened. Yes, Jewish people were put in internment camps. The Red Cross has 200,000 Jewish deaths in prison camps during the time of World War II from starvation and scurvy. 200,000, which is 130th of 6 million, the number reportedly killed. There's no evidence that 6 million people died. That's why there's so many Holocaust survivors. Because there never was a Holocaust. There was also prison camps in the U.S. with Japanese. Really no different. That's why they say the first casualty in war is the truth. All you've ever heard about World War II, lies, lies, and more lies. Spielberg 93, Schindler's List, everything about Oscar Schindler is 39 and 93. And with regards to this film coming out in 1977, this NFL season marks 39 years later, 77 to 2016. This is the 2016 season. Always ends with the Super Bowl at the beginning of 2017. Or the Super Bowl is always played at the beginning of the year that the season was in. You know what I mean? I didn't mean to write 78 here. That was a typo. Whoops. So, the football stadium that's hosting Super Bowl 51, NRG Stadium. NRG and Gematria sums to 39, and construction began on this stadium March 9th, a date that can be written 3 slash 9 or 9 slash 3. This year, the Super Bowl is Super Bowl 51. Black September, the name of the terrorist organization in Black Sunday, Black September equals 51, just like conspiracy. Again, this is Super Bowl 51 being hosted by the Houston Texans. Houston Texans sums to 51. And in the film, it's the Dallas Cowboys versus the Pittsburgh Steelers which, if memory serves me correctly, was Super Bowl thirteen. Notice, Houston Texans in Gematria sums to 51. The original Texas Texans team was the Dallas Texans. The Dallas Texans became the Kansas City Chiefs. Eventually, Dallas got another team, the Cowboys, and then eventually Houston replaced the Oilers with the Texans. So Houston Texans 51, hosting Super Bowl 51, Black September 51, Conspiracy 51. The month September has Gematria 40 like United States. The tagline for this film, which we heard at the end of the preview, it could be tomorrow. It could be tomorrow sums to 228 and 84. I'm going to show you something about 40 and 84. But first, no, United States of America equals 228 and 84. Just like the tagline for the film, it could be tomorrow. The word death also has gematria of 228. Think about in the time of the post-9-11 propaganda programming, how often the media has given us the phrase death to America. You know, death having the same gematria as United States of America. The U.S., a nation that's always been at war, a military killing empire. Much death in the history of the nation. Again, United States equals 40 and United States of America equals 84. If you write out 40, it sums to 84. States is 84. Isn't that interesting? United States 40, United States of America 84. 40 and 84 connecting so perfectly. So there it is, Truth Seeker. You know, Black September has the Gematria 51 like conspiracy. Here we are at Super Bowl 51, coming 39 years after this film. I guess, you know, after the Super Bowl is played, a month and six days later, 
this film will turn 40 years old. So, I think it's pretty interesting. If you want to watch a movie, I recommend checking this one out. It's got an interesting narrative. It's well done. There might be some more predictive programming in here. I haven't watched this movie for at least five years. I should go back and watch it. The last time I saw this film was before I knew about Gematria. But just everything about it, the release date, the length of the film, the title, the subject matter, it's all very interesting. Still, true seeker, I wouldn't bank on anything happening at Super Bowl 51. You know, the Super Bowl is a Masonic ritual in itself. They got the eyes of the world. They're programming the minds with all sorts of propaganda. If they do give us some sort of hoax on that day, you know, have no doubt, though. This movie, it foretold it. Until next time. Encore. Let's go over a few more key points. With regards to the number 39, the reflection of 93, the name Big Ben in Gematria sums to 39. So does the name Cowboys. So it's possible those teams could end up there. Right now, the remaining teams, there's a lot of 39. Alex Smith equals 39. Kansas City plays on the 39th parallel. Tom Brady, 39 years old. We saw Peyton Manning retire at 39 last year. Cowboys, Steelers, it's a potential narrative. Not sure that it's going to happen. I'll be surprised, honestly, if the Patriots aren't there. But what I want to show you is over the years how the Steelers have been used in this predictive programming for an attack at a football game. The film, The Sum of All Fears, where this is supposed to be a football game in Baltimore against the Steelers. You can see the football players out here, the yellow and black. It's supposed to be in Baltimore versus the Steelers. A nuclear bomb goes off at the game. Never seen this film. It's called The Sum of All Fears. Came out around the time of September 11th. The Dark Knight Rises, the field of the football stadium explodes. They used the real Steelers team for this movie. Ben Roethlisberger showing on the sidelines moments before the field blows up. The only player to survive this scene is number 86, who was Heinz Ward, who really played for the Steelers and really wore the number 86. Heinz Ward also finished his NFL career with 86 touchdowns, not by coincidence, but because the league is scripted. Remember, 86 is a special number. The word symbol equals 86, triangle 86, pyramid 86. With regards to bombings in 86, the Hiroshima bombing, very symbolic, was on 86 August 6th, 1945, a date with 33 numerology. Again, the Steelers in Black Sunday, which we just talked about. The first player you see in that shot, number 44. This year, the Super Bowl, the date of the Super Bowl, February 5th, 2017. That's a date with 44 numerology. 44 numerology. The film Oblivion. Oblivion in Gematria equals 44. In Oblivion, there's dialogue about how the last Super Bowl ever played is in 2017. If you can make that out in the background, Tom Cruise. This is supposed to be MetLife Stadium that he's in. In New Jersey, where the Giants and Jets play. Anyway, dialogue about 2017 being the final Super Bowl. Oblivion 44, the Super Bowl in 2017 on a date with 44 numerology. I just think it's interesting how the Steelers over the years have been used in films to show destruction at the Super Bowl. So that's the Encore Truth Seeker. Until next time.